We just got a brand new Christmas fame pass in Fall Guys. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of Christmas skins. So we're gonna check this out and play with all of them. Now you might notice that I'm already level 15 on the pass progress, but I promise I have not looked at anything from the fame pass other than the image. The only reason why I'm 15 is because I've been crown grinding a lot because I'm working on one of my next videos where I reach 9,000 crowns. If you look right here, I. I have 8,864 right now. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's go over to the fame pass and we're just gonna buy the entire thing. I pretty much do that for every fame pass. You know, we gotta showcase it for a video. Ooh, this image actually looks really cool. But here we go, fame pass bundle. Here we go and we should get it. Wait, what? Buy it. What's going on? There we go. Okay, nice. We got the new fame pass. All right, so now, of course, we're gonna buy all of the tiers. And there we go. We bought every single tier. So here we go. We're just gonna go through all of it. Oh, okay. I already got spoiled of the last skin because I already see this. Okay, so this is the final skin. The Winter Warrior. That's actually pretty sick. So it's a blue version of that Samurai Santa that we saw in the image. I'm assuming that's one of the first skins. Anyway, as usual, we got a bunch of shards. So let me go back and here we go. We got a Frosty Fleece skin. I actually like that. It kind of has the colors of the Magic Dragon skin, which I like. It's like the pastel colors. Also, by the way, I really like Christmas and anything holiday themed. So this is a really cool fan pass already. And then we got the Snowy Success. Oh, this is a variation of the Fluff Ball. It's the Fluff Ball skin, but he's wearing a jacket. And then we got Snowflake Brew. We had a lot of smoothie skins in the last Fame Pass, so we have even more drink costumes. And ooh, another variation of this skin. The Show Ho Ho Gun. <laughs> nice, cause like a show gun, but it's Ho Ho Ho. Get it? because funny. Keep going back, we got more shards. Oh, okay, there we go. This is the variation of the fluff ball. This is the other koala. Then we got another skin, the snug skier. Whoa, I'm not gonna lie, I might use this. That's a really cool looking skin. No, genuinely, this is something that I would wear in games. I'm impressed so far. This is a good fame pass, actually. Then we got the candy cane cup, okay. And then we got the samurai Santa. I guess that's what this would be called. When I saw the preview image for this fame pass, I assumed it was gonna be called samurai Santa because that's, you know, it's what the skin looked like. But I didn't know that was the actual name of the costume, so I have literally guessed it right. Then we got the cozy cocoa skin. Wait, let me check out this emote. Carving slopes. Oh, it's like a skiing emote. That would actually be cool to use in like season three levels on ice. And then we got some skiing goggles, these skiing glasses. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a sweater pattern. Wait, that's, people are probably gonna use that. Then we got another koala sweater skin, the koala knitwear. This one is also really cool looking. Go back a bit further and then we have the llama charmer. So this is the first variation of that llama skin we saw. Then we got the shivers emote. All right, then we got a gingerbread biscuits costume. So we got a gingerbread house skin. This is one of the costumes that I would not wear. These are like your typical fame pass costumes they look cool but not something you would wear in game then we got the great skate celebration they even changed the podium to make it ice i like that actually and then we got the panda peaks so that's the first costume you get nice this is by far my favorite skin in the past i'm gonna equip it right now i don't know what it is about this skin the snug skier but it's so cool <laughs> i'm not a huge fan of the bottom because I don't really like the, the skiing, whatever it's called, the things on his feet. I don't like those. Also, the tail is kind of bulky. Oh, they also put out some really cool face plates in this fame pass too. Like, look at this one. This would look really good on that galaxy skin from SS2. Anyway, now that we have all the skins, we're gonna go ahead and play some winter themed creative levels with every skin from the pass. Starting off with this level called Snowy Scale by Real Yeeted Bean. And we got the final fame pass skin equipped at the start. Usually I don't do that. Usually I'll start off with one of the first skins and then build my way up. And uh, we started off at, with this one checking out the skins. So we might as well go in that same order. Also, this is a really cool looking level. This actually kind of looks like a Unity level. I really, really like the Legacy Season 3 rounds. But yo, there's been so much stuff going on in Fall Guys. Like we had the new Power Up update like just a couple days ago. Now we got a new Fame Pass. There was also a cinematic trailer that Fall Guys released recently. It wasn't for any like new update or anything anything, but it was just a, a new animated trailer. Even though we're not really getting any seasons or anything right now, they're putting out 
lots of updates, which is really cool. I should be able to start making a lot more videos. And if you- What? Did I just teleport? Wait, editor, give me a slow motion instant replay of the last, like, five seconds. What just happened there? I swear I teleported. Anyways, make sure you're subscribed to my more centric channel if you haven't already, because I'm gonna be posting a lot more extra Fall Guys content over there. I'm probably gonna be uploading about two to three videos per week. That's my goal for, you know, the consistent schedule because obviously I have not been making that much videos recently. My last video was like 12, 13 days ago. And then before that, it was like a month ago. So yeah, I'm really slacking when it comes to my uploads, but I'm pretty much back now. I'm not burnt out from the game at all. And oh wow, we're already done. Oh, I went through the chimney like Santa Claus. That was cool. Anyways, next up, we're going to wear the new llama skin, the frosty fleece. Oh dude, you know what I should have done for this video? I should have wore a Santa hat. I did that last year during December. All right, all right, guys, I promise for the rest of my videos in December, I'll wear a Santa hat. I'm actually gonna order one like right now. But anyway, here we go. This is the level. There's a big Christmas tree in the middle. There's also a bunch of Christmas presents. It's so cool what you can do with creative these days. Can I climb the Christmas tree? Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea. I need to grab up on this platform. Okay, there we go. Nice. Do I go around the Christmas tree? Oh, wait, okay. There's a boom blaster on this present. So do, oh, okay, I see. I think I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, I'm inside of the Christmas tree now. Wait, do I go down? Am I supposed to drop down? Oh, there's like this hidden path I can barely see. I'm stuck on something. Okay, do I go down even further? This is interesting. I can barely see though. Drop down here. Oh, there we go. There's the finish line. It was underneath the tree. Cool. That was a really nice level. All right, next up, we're going to play with the snowy success skin. Dude, this looks insane. Look how many presents there are in the background. Okay, so do I have to bounce on these things? Yeah, okay. So this is a speed run level. Okay, this is going to be fun. I love these types of levels. But dude, look at the sheer size of this map. This is what I don't understand about Fall Guys level designers. How do you guys have the patience for this stuff? Bro, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really impatient, but I would not have the patience for this kind of stuff. I would literally give up after like the first 30 minutes. Like I would really have to just sit down and design for like days straight. That's crazy. Wait, where do I go from here? I'm kind of lost. Am I missing something? What the heck? Oh, what? What just happened? I just glitched through that blue platform. That was so weird. That was a strange way to qualify, but that was a really cool map. I like the design of it. Anyway, next up, we're gonna play with the Snowflake Brew skin. Also, something I just noticed. Bro, look how many crowns I have now after buying all the tiers. I have 8,916 now. That seems like it's way more than I had before. But anyway, next level is called Festive Rush by Broke Games 100. All right, here we go. This level looks really cool. There's another Christmas tree in the background. So as for this costume, this is definitely one of my least favorite skins in this fame pass. That doesn't mean it's bad, but compared to the other ones, it's one of the worst. And again, I really do like Christmas skins. I might just do a video where I win a game with every Christmas skin in Fall Guys because there are a lot of Christmas skins in the game. That would be a long video. <laughs> that might be like an hour long, to be honest, because there are a lot of skins, but I would be down to do it. But yeah, let me know. All right, I gotta grab this checkpoint. I was tempted to just go straight for that lily pad, but I don't want to miss out on it. All right, give me the punching glove skip. Boom, I am speed. We get a hammer skip. Gonna get a good one. Nope, completely failed. Okay, let's try that again. Do we get it? Nope. Oh, almost. I'm pretty sure I could just walk on, you know, those platforms and ride over there. But I don't know. Hammer skip is more fun. So let's keep trying. Come on. Did I? No. I keep getting so close. I just need more height. Come on. Nope. I'm getting so close. All right. Last try. Last try. If we don't get this, I'll go the normal way. Oh. Fine. Fine. I'll go the normal, boring, stupid way. I wanted to take the Yidus, man. Why you gotta take that away from me, Mediatonic? Well, I mean, it's more like my own skill issues, but... All right, ride the platform. Watch out for the axes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Is that like the second time I get hit off by those axes? Oh my god, there's 30 seconds left. The finish line is right there. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We have 20 seconds to qualify. I wasted so much time on the big Yidus, but now I have to make... This is literally my last chance. You freaking axe. I hate you. I hate the axes. 10 seconds left. Oh my god. Okay. Do not hit me, dude. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Okay. Are you kidding me? Why did I ragdoll? Oh my bruh. You know what? Whatever. Next level. 
All right, next we're gonna play with the new Show Ho Ho gun. This one's called Santa's Secret Visit by Goose. This is perfect. I'm wearing one of the Santa skins and we're gonna play a Santa level. Yo, look how big that house is. Oh my, bro. And that's Santa's sled, I think, down there, right? But where is Santa Claus himself, though? I guess I'm Santa. <laughs> I'm Santa, but everything is way too big for me. How am I gonna fit in that sled? Not gonna lie, a lot of players have been complaining a little bit about how much creative stuff we've been getting, but I personally don't mind. I mean, I do understand how people wanna get more stuff in normal solo show, like a new non-creative level. Like, I hope we get a new non-creative level too. But like, as for the creative stuff that we are getting, like, this is pretty cool. I never thought Fall Guys would be at a stage like this. The creative levels are now almost as good as the normal Unity levels. Not quite, I mean, there's still work to do, but still, Fall Guys creative is insane these days. We gotta go up this staircase. I think we gotta press a button, right? Because there was a bridge. Oh yeah, right there. It's the snowman's belly button. Okay, I'll go in the conveyor so it's faster. There we go, boom. Now we just gotta go back. Oh yeah, wait, there's a door here. Do I go here? Oh yeah, I think so. What the heck is this? Some kind of dropper? Bro, where am I supposed to go? Wait, maybe? Hold on. There's a ramp here. Maybe I'm supposed to get on top of the bed. Oh, there's an egg. <laughs> I just literally saw that. There's an egg on top of the left bed. Gotta bring this ramp and I gotta grab that egg. Then I gotta drop the egg in that little dropper thing. Here we go, bounce up. Look how cool this level is. This is the one that I might be the most impressed with so far. You know, get the egg, you gotta do all these things. All right, now I think I can go back. Let's see if something opened. I think there was another door back here. Is this how I get back up? Oh, it's another dropper. Oh yeah, there's an egg back there. Okay, jump, jump, jump. What? No, egg, 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 come back here. I need you. All right, so we gotta put this egg in the dropper and then maybe we'll be done. I don't know. Put this in, there we go. And did another door open? Let's see, what did that do? I don't see anything. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, oh, wow, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess I activated the fan with one of those eggs. That's cool that you can change the fan's speed um, just like by pressing one of the buttons or the eggs or something. That's a cool mechanic. Nice, we qualified. That was my favorite level that I've played so far. I like puzzle levels. All right, next we're gonna play with the strawberry sweater skin. All right, this next level is called Yule Log Sprint, also by Goose. This guy makes some cool levels, bro. All right, here we go. Another Christmas tree in the back. It looks like this is gonna to be a speed run level let me see if i can get a solid speed run without like many mistakes all right there's one mistake i ragdolled a little bit but we're gonna do our best this is another level that's just so well designed i love these bro all right and then oh okay another ragdoll okay second mistake we got two mistakes but they're not even that bad i mean i haven't fallen at all that's good right all right let me get this speed boost the finish line is right there i can smell it also this skin does look pretty cool in game i'm not gonna lie okay jump to the platform nice and i think we're at the end let's go easy qual that was a fun level and again, this celebration. I love this celebration. This is one of my favorite new celebrations for sure. Okay, next up, we're gonna play with my favorite skin in the Fame Pass, the Snug Skier. I love this skin so much, dude. Look how cool that looks. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this skin, but I really, really like these remixed versions of old skins. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of skins like this. You see the, the pilot pigeon? Back in SS2, we got variations of classic skins where they gave them like astronaut suits and stuff. So like, see, this is the original pigeon and then you have the pilot pigeon. Like, I really like that type of stuff. It's the same with this. It's like a remixed old costume. Please, Mediatonic, do more of that because those skins are so awesome. Anyways, this next level is called White Tree Jump also by Goose. Yo, this is three levels by Goose in a row. Shout out to Goose if he's watching this right now. Like, you make some really sick levels. And look at that, we got a massive Christmas tree. Look at all those snowflakes in the sky. We got Christmas presents down there. All of these are such good Christmas levels. I could never make something like this, bro. Like this, these are so cool. And I like how they're using clouds to represent snow. I actually don't mind the skates. I mentioned before that the skates and the tail of the bottom half of the skin were kind of clunky, but they're not actually that clunky. Gotta jump across these snowflakes. Oh, I'm really high right now. I hope it'll fall. 
I think I got a checkpoint, so I should be fine either way, but still. Here we go. Get this checkpoint. Nice. And the rest of this level should just be speed runs, I think. I'm seeing constant speed boosts. Bro, how much time do you think it would have taken for someone to make this kind of level? Like, this level has four or five layers to it, and it's all, like, very neatly designed. Yeah, respect to anyone that just takes this much time to make levels, because whenever people put this much effort and time into levels... Like, they turn out really good. Here we go, land on the finish line, and perfect. Let's go. All right, next up, we're gonna play with the Samurai Santa skin. This costume looks pretty cool, too. I definitely prefer the blue one, but this one's cool, too. All right, this next level is called Freezy Frolic by Snake Pit Rams. All right, here we go. I can literally see the finish line down there. Okay, we gotta watch out for this bar right here. Oh, that's fast. Yep, okay. How do I even dodge that? That bar is spinning so fast. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go side path. But yo, this level also looks really, really cool. Here we go. Slide down. Boom. Wait, this is a short level. Am I already almost done? Because I could literally see the finish line from up there. Actually, no, I think I have to climb this tower. We're basically climbing some kind of tower right now. Oh my... I just got hit by like three different hammers. Are you kidding me? Hammers, can you relax? Let me try going all the way on the left. Okay, there we go. That worked. Slow down. Boom. Okay, there we go. We got it. Yeah, we're already done. The finish line is right there. Okay, this is like the shortest level so far, but that was very well designed. I liked it. All right, next we're going to play with the Cozy Coco skin. And this next level is called Joyous Holidays by Pinky. Ooh, okay, so there's like a Christmas wreath. Oh yeah, isn't that thing called the Elf on the Shelf? See that little guy with the hat? I think that's called an Elf on the Shelf. But this is a Santa sleigh, I think. And we got some presents over there. And they built a whole village over here. Okay, I need to make this bridge probably over here. Oh yeah, on top of the second present. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now we got the bridge. And I'm gonna take the right side. Dude, look at this village that they built. Oh, and there's another Christmas tree. This one's blue for some reason. I don't know how I feel about that. And just walk through here. Oh yeah, you got nutcrackers. Yo, that's actually really well built. And they have like really, really detailed designs. All right, we got a checkpoint. Nice. Oh, the finish line is right there. Ooh, this is... Wait, this is tricky. So you have to walk on the spinners, but you only get a small portion of them. Actually, it's not that hard. Oh yeah, we already made it. Nice. Gotta watch out for these axes, though. Don't get hit. And there we go. Nice. We qualified. That was a really cool level. Anyways, next up, we're gonna play with the Koala Knitwear skin. All right, next level is called Ice Rock by Pin Creator. Ooh, okay. This is different. This kind of looks like an icy mountain range or something. You got all this ice. I mean, it's not actually ice, but it looks like ice. All right, let me just jump around normally. There we go. We got one checkpoint all the way, like, right at the start of the level. That's very generous. This is actually pretty sick. I really like this design, like, the mountain range. Where even is the finish line? I don't see it. Oh, now there's more stuff. Oh, look, there's snowflakes. This level is just covered in blue. It's just an ice level, pretty much. Well, I could get a hammer skip here for sure. You literally just stand there. That's perfect. I grab the speed boost. But I'm curious, do you guys like this fame pass or the Halloween fame pass more? In my opinion, I think this fame pass is a lot better. But there we go. We qualified. Anyways, next up, we're going to play with the Llama Charmer skin. All right, this next level is called Santama Run by Tamachi. Ever since Fall Guys increased the budget to 2000, the levels have been way better. Like you guys have probably noticed. Because what was the budget before? Like 1,000, 1,500? Either way, like ever since they increased it to 2,000, you can notice that the levels look so much better and the potential is just insane. We got these little cloud islands with presents. You can see there's Santa's sleigh down there. I just dive here, get the speed boost. Oh, we're already at the end. Finish is right there. A lot of these levels are pretty short. There we go, we qualified it. That was fun. All right, next we're gonna play with the Gingerbread House skin. All right, this next level is called Frozen Rollers by VZ. I'm assuming this level is gonna have the new power-up where you roll down, you know, just because of the name, but we'll see. The reason why I didn't make a full video on the update is... Honestly, there's just not really much to go over. The bouncy bean time show was about all we got, and it's just three levels. So I couldn't really make like a full video out of that, but it's been a while since that update came out. And now, since there's a lot of levels made from the community with the power up, I might have to make a video playing the best ball levels or whatever this power up is called. Right, there we go, we got a checkpoint. Oh, the finish is already over there? That was such a short level. 
I mean, it was fun to use the power up, but that was really short. Yeah, comment down below if I should also make a video playing the best power up creative levels. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna play it with the Panda Peaks skin. This is actually really good for the first costume of the Fame Pass. Like, I actually really like it. All right, this next one is called Merry Christmas Race by Tom Nuke. And this is the last level. So let's see if it's good. All right, here we go. This level looks pretty cool. Or are these like DoorDash doors? Oh yeah, okay, they just open automatically. Nice. Oh, look, there's a snowman. <laughs> Wait, this is actually really well done. Look at all the candy canes in the background. This looks sick. And or you're walking across a bunch of different Christmas trees. The trees kind of look like Minecraft just because they're like boxy and pixely and stuff. Honestly, Fall Guys creative is really starting to seem a lot like Minecraft because people are building like all this crazy stuff and the possibilities are like nearly endless at this point. Okay, we're already getting the next checkpoint. This is the candy cane section. Oh dude, this level was so short. I wanted to play more. This was a really well-designed level though. All these levels are so well-designed. Literally. I should probably try making another level myself. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you guys think about this new Fame Pass. In my opinion, this one is definitely better than the Halloween Fame Pass, and it's probably in my top three Fame Passes of all time. Like, a lot of the skins in here, I would actually wear. Like, this snug skier skin, I'm actually gonna be wearing this a lot throughout this month, I think. But anyways, thanks for watching, and subscribe.